miracle thing about it, it was um, a team of ladies. And I said, well, what are they going to do? So, <laughs> I said, the furniture got to be moved. Just so you know, I have never thought that one time. <laughs> and they were like gangbusters. Oh, yeah. Oh, they came in and they started pulling yep. that carpet, cutting it up Come and on. rolling it out yep. to the sidewalk. They found a way to shift my sofa one way, <laughs> shift it the other way till they got to some empty spot where they could cut that carpet. And those ladies worked. They were pulling carpet and taking it out. I was so happy, so happy that to see them and that they could work like that without a man involved. And I, I get so much joy myself in just being here and fellowshipping with the other believers and fellowshipping with homeowners and just being able to hear their story and share my story. It's just incredible that people have come from all over the country to, to help build a house, put a roof on, put sheetrock in. My experience with Indians, Indians folk have been great so far. We, we're out here uh, going ahead and di doing a demo on the house right now, tearing off shingles on the roof. It's been an amazing experience. We just love it. We love to do it. You know, we're retired and we have time to do it. We come here to rebuild, but most of all, we come here to, to help these families and, and help rebuild their lives. My experience with Eight Days of Hope, uh, as far as a volunteer, is just really helping those who need a helping hand. It's just a great experience, and it's, uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody. Yeah.